Taste the Country. We're hanging out here with Home Free. That was quite, uh, I've never heard Happy Birthday that sung that well. That was amazing. Happy Birthday to Pretty bad. Oh, oh, right. Right. All right. All right. Do you guys get weird requests being an acapella group? For... We sure do, buddy. <laughs> so that's not even as odd as no, no. A lot of happy birthdays for sure. <laughs> yeah, every show. What's yeah. another request you guys get a lot? I don't know. The first thing that comes to mind is just like sign weird things. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. musical requests. Yeah, I guess it's just because you are a cappella. People think you can do it anytime on the spot, yeah. any song without any rehearsal. Well, it was interesting to me. Right. Okay. So uh, to see, we told you guys like, hey, sing happy birthday. And then to see you guys rehearse it real quick, I was like, wow, that is interesting. Because as someone that doesn't sing, at least good, it's <laughs> interesting to hear that you guys even practice. It's like, it's like seeing Derek Jeter doing a practice. You know? Thank like, you for saying that. Yeah. He, that. He's, he gets an all deck circle. Well, yeah. He did, right? You know? Yeah, so, yeah. Same yeah. thing. Hey, everybody. This is Tig in with another reaction video. And yes, we are back with Home Free. I've seen. Now, if you watch my little cursor here, I got a little circle here. From my understanding, I was believing he was leaving the group. I'm not exactly sure what's going on now. Uh, maybe if y'all have some information on that, please let me know. But either case, I'm just happy to see him in this video. And it looks like it came out a few weeks ago. So I'm not exactly sure if this is supposed to be an old video or and they just put it out or is this something new. Either way it goes, I'm really excited to listen to this song, right? I need a little positivity, you know, with so many crazy things going on in the world. Uh, it seems like everything is just spinning out of control. It's just getting just insane. And sometimes you can get really preoccupied with all the craziness, you know, with the rent prices, the migrant situation, uh, people not being able to afford anything because of inflation. I mean, it's just constant bombardment of crazy going on. So we all try to find some type of positivity in our lives to get through the difficult times. And for me, a lot of the times it's music. And not only just any uh, song or any group, but Home Free always put out positive, loving music straight from their heart. Not to mention they can harmonize like that. Not too many people can, man. These guys are amazing. And on a beautiful day like this, I just want to go out with some positivity and just feel good about myself and what's going on in the world and to know that there are some positive things and people out there that's, that's not trying to destroy the world but try to uplift and usually through jesus christ and that's what i love about these guys to the christian as well so let's go ahead and get into this reaction but before we do please like subscribe and share this video and don't forget to hit that notification bell that way you know whenever we come out with new videos, okay? Let's get with it. I've seen rain on the Mississippi Delta. I've seen the sun rise on Baton Rouge. But of all Maybe nothing compares to you Well, I heard some tales From an old man in Jackson About a sacred place in Tennessee Where music fills the air And love is everywhere Boy like me could never leave You know me Had to see it for myself So I hit the road And took your heart along And those cowboys played those strings In ways I've never seen But I only heard your song I've seen rain on the Mississippi
Mississippi Delta. I've seen the sunrise on Baton Rouge. But of all the things these eyes have seen, baby, nothing compares to you. Mississippi Delta I've seen the sun rise on Baton Rouge But of all the things these eyes have seen Baby, nothing compares to you No, nothing compares to you Nothing compares to you. Thank you all so much for watching our music video for I've Seen, a song I wrote about 15 years ago with Joe Bellotta and Henry O'Neill. And actually the first song of mine that Humphrey ever performed. It was the first song I ever heard from yours at all. Wow. I love this song. It's so cool to revisit it uh, all these years later. And it's available on our album, Crazy Your Life. Hope you check it out. If you want to help us make more awesome music videos just like this one, head over to patreon.com slash home free. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash home free. There you'll find an incredible resource, an awesome community, and a place to connect with us and make more music videos just like this one. And we are always touring. So if you're interested in seeing us live, go to homefreemusic.com slash tour for tour dates. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that song was beautiful. I had to play it again, man, because it's so beautiful. I love this, man. You know, we just reacted to Home Free. I have seen, okay? This is a beautiful, beautiful song. And I also let it continue to play because sometimes they'll put messages at the end of their videos. Somebody had to tell me this. They said in my comment section, they were like, look, let it keep playing because sometimes they have messages at the end. So nowadays when I play Home Free, I'll just let it continue until it just stops. So I definitely know I capture whatever message they need to get out. And right now they're doing tours. They got an album out. Please, please buy it. These guys are fantastic. And if you're able to go to one of their tours, definitely do it, man. Definitely do it. Love this song. Love the harmonizing. Love these guys, man. I mean, like I say, so many negative things is going on right now. I mean, with politics, with people like, you know, scamming folks and stealing money. I mean, we ain't just talking about just average people. We talking about politicians everything else going on in this world man it's just nice to be able to go somewhere and just feel good about people and just feel good about these circumstances and i remember back in the day when i was growing up we used to watch a lot of lawrence Welk and a lot of like he haw and all these now, if you're young you probably don't know what i'm talking about but those were like the go-to uh shows that we used to watch when we were kids and i loved it because even i and I was completely clueless as to what was going on in the world because my my father made sure that we, you know, that we kept on our Christian values and that we that we uh, he didn't allow a lot of crazy stuff to come into the house to expose us to insane stuff like what's going on right now. And that would kept my my uh, childhood innocent. You know, of course, as I grew up, I had to enter the world and then found out there was a lot of crazy stuff that's going on now. And I had to adapt to it, you know. I mean, I can't argue whether, you know, my father kept us sheltered or what, but I can just say this. 
one thing is I, I mean even though I went through a lot of trials and tribulations and I've done some bad things and and I've done some good things I mean I'm, I'm just like everybody else I'm not trying to make it seem like you know because I was raised a certain way all of a sudden I'm walking through the world you know as a great great person but I feel that what he built in us is still there and a lot of the times when we go through a lot of difficult situations uh, we can reach inside for these things and that's why I feel so sorry for a lot of the younger generation because a lot of them aren't taught these things so that's why they're doing a lot of outrageous stuff you see it all over the news and the point I'm making is we all go we all back in the day was going to positive things that we love I mean we're talking about you know uh, people singing about love people singing about family all these things right you was able to cherish something back then but these days it's you know, stuff like sexy red, twerking, and all this other crazy stuff. It's almost like they ain't trying to pervert all the children's mind these days. So when they get older, these kids will be like, end up being criminals or at the least perverted or whatever, right? And they have nothing to look forward to. So it's, 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 it seems like we're breeding a bunch of lunatics. <laughs> I wish I could think of a, a better term than that, better word, but you know, that's where it seemed to be going. And I thank the Lord that he was able to bring a group like home free out there just out there just to put out the positivity something that the kids can grasp onto i'm not saying it's going to be a whole group of young people that's going to listen to home free but there are there are going to be some people that will and that's a good thing I, i'd rather that than nothing and thank goodness that they able to survive and i want to go ahead and emphasize on this survive in a world that will reject this kind of stuff reject positivity reject family reject love you know the fact that these guys can continue on and i know they probably struggling i know they are because the industry all they want is perverted perversion craziness insanity talking about racism all the time and all the other crap man so they rejected anything that's positive so these guys got to go on their own and put out stuff what they believe in and what they love and cherish and i know it's a struggle i know these guys are hard and that's the reason why they have to put out these messages at the end because it's a struggle in the music industry it's a struggle in hollywood because they want to keep everything negative all the time and then with groups like this and many other groups that want to put out positive messages and something that you can just you know feel great about they want to hinder that they want to stop it for some reason so it's a struggle for these guys because come on back in the day these guys would have been already famous they would have been working with all these stars and all that you know like dolly parton and all that kind of stuff back in the day but because hollywood is so divided and everything is so crazy right now they have to go on their own and do what they need to do and i give them props for that and i and i pray for them that they would succeed and continue on with this music and not let anything corrupt them so far so good thank god that these guys are, are not being corrupted that they continue on even though they could just easily go with the flow they could easily do that they could easily do that if they wanted to they can just start singing crazy songs dressing crazy doing crazy stuff they can easily do that they can say you know screw the fans we want to make money let's go ahead and do that they could do that because they got the talent they could do it if they want to but they choose not to how can you not look up to these guys how can you not man i couldn't even do something like that okay did something in these guys they found each other and was able to put out this message to those who want to listen and hear good positive loving music and thank god for that and I just want to give these guys props. And God willing, they will. I know they're successful now. I hope they get more successful. And I hope their message get out more. Because we're always talking about messaging these days. Well, I believe they have a positive one. Thank the Lord for that. Okay? All right. I really appreciate all of you coming back. Now, I hope you enjoy your weekend. Wherever you are, I hope it's sunny, beautiful, whatever. Either way, I hope you're with family, friends, loved ones. Just enjoy it. And thank God for it. Okay? All right. Thanks again for stopping by. This is T and Peace. In ways I've never seen. But I only heard your song.